Hello lovelies, welcome to another Pick A Card reading and in this reading today, I haven't done one of these readings for a while but I felt the urge, I'm doing uh, June 2024 predictions and I'm looking at career, finances and love, okay. So look at the different options for the readings and choose the one that you're most drawn to but if you're drawn to more than one reading there might be messages in other readings that are relevant for you in June. So Take anything that doesn't feel right for you and leave that behind, okay? So let's get on with the readings now. Hello group one, thank you for joining me. It's lovely to have you here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I want to let you know that I have got, oh, there's a card jumped out. I have got a new channel um, called Guided Meditations where I'm releasing regular guided meditations every week to help you with various things. So check below the description box for the link for that. I also have my Patreon community for animal lovers where I'm helping people to understand their animals better so that they can build a deeper connection. There's a link below for that as well. I'm also... I uh, got a cat video channel where I release regular videos of the cats as kittens and Lily's kittens on there. There's a link below for that. And don't forget that I offer readings and energy work courses, oracle cards, and I write a blog. And I'm also finally getting on with the animal mediumship Q&A, which I've been trying to get going for a while. It's finally moving ahead now. That will most likely be, information will be released through my Patreon community and through my other channel, Elizabeth Keady. Okay. And to my regular listeners, hello and thank you for your continued love and support. I truly treasure you. Okay, so we are looking at predictions for June with career, finances and love. Let's see. So I'm using all of my decks today. So we have got for stability... 47 love, 29 perspective. Oh, they are not in, are they? I'm just wondering how I'm going to get all of these in, actually. Um, we have got 11 broken egg, 13 dustbin, 22 padlock, 6 of hearts beauty and appreciation, 7 of hearts healing the past, 8 of diamonds karma. I might organise these better in a minute. 10 rebirth. 41 Illumination, 16 Persevere, 5 Telephone, 17 Aeroplane, 18 Red Light, 5 of Spades Originality, 9 of Clubs End of Situation, 3 of Clubs Group and Teamwork. Yeah, we've definitely got to reorganise these, bear with me. And we've got 6 Strength, 5 Change, 20 Deliberate, 26 bracelet, 27 spilled milk, 30 synchronicity, 4 of diamonds, mindfulness, queen of clubs, loyal and loving, and jack of hearts, playful and light-hearted. Now, bear with me because I'm going to reorganise all of these so that they fit in to the camera. Okay, so what we're going to do is one reading at a time because I can't get all of the cards on. Okay, so these first cards here, I'm going to bring it all together though once I've done all of the readings. So these cards here, these are to do with your career group one, first of all. So let's have a look at the influences coming in. Now I noticed straight away, you've got number four cropping up three times, four, stability, 13 and 22. And then you've got two number 11s there. You've also got 11 and 22 in the same cards here. So the number four is this energy of needing to get grounded and practical and taking methodical action. So for June, I feel that this is gonna feature quite strongly for you where you're gonna need to maybe plan and organize and get disciplined with your work in June to make things happen. Now, the thing that I'm seeing here with these cards, these relate to 
the like the the obstacle that you're overcoming or the life lesson that you're learning with work at the moment and with these cards here that you've got something that is holding you back something that is making it might be making you feel like you're fed up with work or you're miserable at it you're not enjoying it anymore and I do feel with the love card here that you aren't loving what you're doing group one so um during June I feel like with this number four as well this is an energy of restriction and it can be to do with the fear that we put on ourselves that cause the restrictions so I feel that you've got some fears to face in June group one to help you to break through them because if you're thinking of moving jobs or wanting to change something about your work because it's not feeling good anymore then I feel that you're going to be having a look at those fears that you've got um, that are stopping you from moving forward okay and with the number four energy being quite prevalent this is about you needing to take action but to plan your steps, you know, to actually maybe write a list or draw up a schedule or or brainstorm some ideas as to what you're going to do. I feel that the energy that's affecting you, though, that's challenging you at the moment, group one, with work is it's like something has come from the past, something that has been making you feel, especially, you know, with this number four energy, four relates to a box as well. So it might feel that you've been boxed into doing work that you feel as though you should be doing rather than it's something that you actually love. So this is going to come into question for you during June. Okay, group one. With um this these cards here with the stability the six of hearts and the 11 broken egg the energy that i'm getting here this is related to what you need to focus on or take action on okay so with this stability card again we've got the roots in the card here so this is about you needing to to like create a strong foundation for what you want to bring in in the future if for example you're unhappy and you want to change careers this could be you about exploring the options of what you want to do next or learning a new skill you know that you can put into action in the in the future to change jobs this is also about feeling very grounded needing to get your feet on the ground and not allowing yourself to be up in the clouds a little bit too much with you know idealistic like, things that you want to do that that you can't bring in because the, the like the leg room the leg work what's the word the leg work you haven't put the leg work in to make it a reality so June is about you being very practical thinking about what your ambitions are what you can actually make happen what you can do to make it happen you know and with these two cards here I feel like you are feeling quite weighed down at the moment you know and the the thing that you're needing to focus on in June is to do something to lighten that with this beauty and appreciation card here this is like spirit saying take some time out to focus on the things that bring you a lot of joy that lift you up maybe if it resonates with you spend some time in nature to help to uplift you to clear your energy because I think some of you might be clogged up your energy could be clogged up and especially if you're doing work where you're helping people a lot I think that you would really benefit from uh, cutting the cords because I'm getting the sense for some of you that you've got too many attachments to too many people, places, things, events, you know, and it's bringing you down. It's making you feel way like weighed heavy, burdened, weighed down, you know, and for some of you, it might may be making you feel very tired, it might be affecting your health. So something that you can do in June, group one, that will really help you is to spend some time doing the things that you enjoy joy that uplift you and to sort out your energy and to cut cords to cleanse your energy I've actually got a guided meditation for cleansing your energy and there's another one for moving into your heart center which is perfect for this energy of you know if you want to discover what's in your heart what you really love with work because if you're not sure about that those meditations can really help you to do that so check them out um, so with these cards here on the right this is the energy that is moving moving in, in like an influence that's coming in for you during June group one so we have got so this karmic card here the eight of diamonds this is giving the sense with these other two cards here where spirit is saying 
what you focus on is what you bring into reality, you know? So with the perspective card here, this is about focusing on the positive things. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Whatever, Wherever your thoughts go, energy flows, and that's what you create. So really focus on what you want to get rid of, what you want to change, and what steps you can do to, to do, what steps you can take to do that. And then once you've had a think about all of that and a clear out, then focus on what you can do to bring in positive changes this 22 padlock card here this is about you really tapping into it during june into your skills and abilities that you already had and have and realizing what you're good at and how you can use that in applying for a new job or setting up a new business you know what can you do what can you bring to the world what are you good at what do you like doing so i feel for you group one june is all about in relation to your career about finding Finding out what's in your heart about taking actions to free yourself from the situation that you're in and from really taking care of your energy. OK, so let's put those to one side and we will look at your finances next. OK, so we've got 10 rebirth, five of spades originality five telephone you've got two fives there we've got another five here 41 illumination nine of clubs and a situation 17 aeroplane we've got 16 persevere three of clubs group teamwork and 18 red light okay so you've got a lot of number five energy this is an energy that can bring a little bit of instability with finances where things are a little bit up and down where I mean especially in relation to what I've spoken about with your career maybe you're feeling a little bit stuck in relation to money maybe you're worrying about money and that's actually stopping you from making changes but we've got some very positive cards here you've got this rebirth card here which is about again this is about you focusing on something new coming into your life so this ties in nicely with the career reading that I've just given you this five of spades originality this is about you focusing on doing what you what you do do not doing what other people do find your thing that makes you unique okay with this um I'm gonna come to that one in a minute with this illumination card here so this is in the position of what's challenging you at the moment with your finances and I really feel like that is saying you it, you're not seeing things clearly in relation to money I feel that you've got some kind of negative belief around money that's actually holding you back and stopping you from getting what you want what you need in relation to money it's actually stopping you I'm getting the message now that you're not getting what you deserve group one okay and spirit wants you really to look at that with this nine of clubs end of situation I mean this ties in really well with the career reading where you're struggling to bring an end to a situation that isn't right for you and I feel that you're finding it hard to see the path ahead and that's actually stopping you from making a move so during June um, I mean this aeroplane card here as well this relates to what I spoke about in the career reading where you're feeling weighed down you want to feel uplifted but it's weighing you down so I feel for you group one it seems like this big link to do with money and career uh, not going well for you at the moment and June is going to be a month where you really need to look at that and decide what you're going to do and to find what it is that lights you up and what is unique to you because that's what will set you free and that's what will bring in abundance this number five telephone card here I feel feel as though um, for some of you, this could even be having a, a conversation with your bank or for some of you, this feels like you speaking to somebody about your money situation, maybe not the bank, but it could even be that you want to speak to a friend or even a therapist about your situation, about your finances and getting help that way. But for... Um, for a few of you, I'm also picking up this message that you are going to be receiving some kind of synchronistic messages in hearing things. You know, like sometimes when you turn on the radio and the song that comes on is very relevant to your life right now, that sort of thing. I think you could hear snippets of information um, that could really help you in regards to changing how you perceive money and your finances. Because I feel like I feel like money and your career are very linked at the moment for you, group one. And where where you clear 
like a blockage with one, it will help to clear a blockage with the other areas. You know what I mean? It feels like they're quite closely intertwined. With this energy here coming in, you've got the 16 Persevere card with the 18 Red Light and the Group Teamwork card. So I feel that they're... I think that with money in June, it's going to be an uphill struggle for you. I'm not going to lie. Group one with this Persevere card and the red light coming out together. This is like saying just at the moment, you're not going to get what you what you have been hoping for in relation to money. The struggle is kind of going to, going to go on a bit longer because do you know what, group one, you are clearing something from a very deep level here. And that takes time. This group teamwork card here. I do feel like for some of you, though, this could relate to work where you've got a situation at work that doesn't feel up lifting or rewarding and so it feels like during June group one you are kind of stuck in work you're stuck with your financial situation but I am getting the sense that it is a time for you to start planning to make really positive changes I think that some of you could really get in touch with what's in your heart and to start to see the path forward you know because you've got some positive cards as well coming in for June about this so this could really help you to shift so it might take a while to make these changes but I can see some forward progression happening for you in those two areas, Route 1. Okay, let's have a look at the love elements of this reading for you. So, get these all fitting in. So we've got, so, oops, sorry, I knocked the microphone. We've got two red cards there, you see that? Five and six, they've got six of strength, five change. And what else have we got here? So four of diamonds, 26 bracelet, queen of clubs, 27 spilled milk, jack of hearts, 30 synchronicity. You've got two people cards there in this love reading. This red energy here, I mean, red is the energy that relates to passion and hot emotions, you know, so that could be anger or passion. So take what resonates for you, group one. So let's have a look. Now, the energy that I'm picking up here with the struggles that you're going through in your relationships at the moment, this isn't necessarily connected with romantic love. This is just love in general. So it could relate to the people like that you love dearly in your family or your friends, you know, as well as a partner. Okay. So I'm picking up from these cards here that there is, there's a situation that you're in with someone, group one, um, that doesn't feel good for you. It's upsetting you. It's for some of you with the elephant there, it could be a mo your mom or a mother type figure in your life that you've got a challenging relationship with. For others of you, this could be a feminine archetype energy in a person that you are struggling with this person. And I feel like, do you know, with this change card and the spilled milk, this is kind of like giving me the, the message that you want things to change, but they're not changing and it's upsetting you. So there is someone you're close to that you are struggling with at the moment. But this red energy is all about change. This is the base chakra. It can connect to our roots, which relates to our family. And with the elephant here, look, we've got two elephants in this reading. That is very synchronistic, group one. So I think that for you in June, group one, this is a lot to do with your family and other people people that you see as family and for some of you this is to do with your mom where it feels as though there might be a heavy burden that you're carrying for someone where you take on their problems you take on their fears you take on their insecurities or you're always trying to help them but I feel like it's not helping you at all group one and what you need to focus on for June in relation to your uh, connections with other people is to be with those people that uplift you that feel good when you are around them the sort of people that make you feel more peaceful, you know, do you know what I mean? Because there are some people when you're around them and their energy is chaotic and you come away. I mean, I experience this where my energy just goes mad when I come away and my mind is full of all kinds of chatter and I know it's not mine. And I feel that this could be quite relevant for you, Group One, in June, where you might become more aware of this. But the message Spirit is saying to you is focus on spending time with the people that make you feel good, not those with the harmful energy, with the chaotic energy, with those that drag you down, with those that make you feel like you're carrying a mountain on your back. Do what you can with this mindfulness card to maybe 
give yourself some distance in June from those people that weigh you down because that will help you to feel better. And when we connect this reading in with the other two, do you know what, Greek one? I'm not surprised that you're feeling the way that you're feeling about your finances and your career because I think there is a very heavy energy, at least one heavy energy around you that is affecting you and it's rippling out into other areas of your life and it's bringing you down, it's making you miserable and it's stopping you from fulfilling yourself with doing things that you absolutely love and being with people that you love. Whoever this person or people are, it is time to have a look at this for you, Greek one during June to see what positive changes you can make that will actually help you because I'm getting the sense that you probably like to help other people a lot and you're giving a lot of yourself to others and it's not helping you so it's time to start giving back to yourself with both of these elephants coming out this is so relevant especially with the queen in that position this is about you not doing enough for yourself group one okay so the main message here for love for you in June is to to give yourself love the most, more than anything, group one, okay, give yourself love. These are some nice energies coming in, in relation to love. With this jack of hearts, this could be, for some of you, this could be a person that shows up in your life, it could be someone that you already know, or it could be someone new, that is playful and light-hearted, like the dolphin, and that will be a really good connection for you to spend time with, you know, with that person, and it could help you to feel better. With this deliberate card here, though, if if this is a new person that comes into your life because it's a jack of hearts and not the king of hearts, the deliberate card is just saying to be very careful that you don't jump into anything too quickly and to just think about what you're doing before you take any, make any impulsive action, okay? Just reel it in and just take a moment to pause before you jump into anything. With this synchronicity card here, you had another card that related to receiving signs and messages, but I feel that, um, that what was that in? That was in the finance yeah, that was in the finance reading, wasn't it? So I feel that this group could get quite a few signs during June and synchronicities. So pay attention to those, especially if you're seeing certain numbers show up, because I've mentioned number four and 11, haven't I? And you've got the 1111 card there. So I feel that this is saying, you know, um, you often get messages and signs and synchronicities happen when somebody positive is coming into your life. You know, I see their name on car registration plates or their initials or I overhear it somewhere. It always seems to pop up regularly. Like, for example, when I got Lily, my cat, come into my life a couple of years ago, I was getting Lily absolutely everywhere for weeks. It was so funny. So I feel that this could be very relevant for you in relation to um, important people in your life. So have a look at the initials and the names that are coming into your life and because uh, that's kind of drawing your attention to certain people and saying to you, what kind of connection have you got with this person? So that's something for you to have a look at is your connections during June group one, okay? So I really hope that reading has helped you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you again. Hello, group two. Thank you for joining me. Hope you are doing really well today. So in this video, I am looking at June predictions for career, finances and love. And while I'm getting the cards ready, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I want to let you know that I've got a new guided meditations channel uh, with a couple of videos released on there already. Check the below for a link. And I have got my Patreon community for animal lovers to help you to understand your animals better and build a deeper connection with them. So there's a link below for that as well. I've also got my cat videos channel if you like to see videos of the cats and of Lily's kittens as well. So look below for that. And then through my website, I have got readings, energy work, courses, oracle cards, and I read, write, not read, write a blog as well. So you will find links below for all of those. So let's just, and if you are a regular listener to my channel hello thank you for listening again thank you for all your love and support okay 
gosh, it's quiet downstairs. Lily's kittens are eight weeks old today and they are at that stage where they're causing bedlam. Goodness me. <laughs> So she's got five kittens, three of them have been reserved and I've got somebody else coming to look at the other two. Oh, it's so sad when they have to go. So, so sad. But they're not meant to stay with me. So I'm going to do them separately. I tried to get them all in the screen on the first reading, but it wasn't working. Okay. So we've got 37 Gateway, 17 Bittersweet. Are they in? That's about it. And 10 Rebirth, that came out in the last reading. We've got 5 of Diamonds in a Transformation, 7 of Hearts Healing the Past, 2 of Spades, Decision and Choice, 22 The Padlock, that came out in the last reading as well, 12 The Fly, 16 The Lighter. Okie dokie. Right, so for you, group two, for June, I am seeing that you might be challenged either with a person or a situation relating to your career during June. That's these cards here. Bittersweet and the flies. These are challenges coming in for you. So I feel that this could be a situation or a person that is really like bugging you during June, you know, and you've got this healing the past card here. So this really gives me the sense that there is something like a, something very karmic going on with this situation that you're facing in June, where I feel that you haven't been able to get to the bottom of something or learn your life lesson with something. And it's coming back in. It's going to it's like it's going to rear its ugly head during June. For some of you, I am getting the message, though, that there is a situation going on right now and that's going to continue to go on for June. But we'll have a look at the other cars to see how that progresses and how you can get through that and what will help you. OK, because you know what? This card here, these cards are lovely. These are the cards at the top here, 37 Gateway, the Transformation and the Padlock card. These actually give me the sense of balance because you've got balance numbers. Four plus one is five. And that's a lovely energy. So these are the cards relating to what you need to focus on or what action you need to take in June group two. OK, so with this gateway card, do you know, this is giving me the sense of you needing to really trust your intuition. I feel like there's something about this situation or person that's challenging you where you're maybe just looking at the surface level of the situation and not looking beneath it to understand deeper why it's actually happening. Because I think what will help you most group, group two to work through this situation is if you really understand why it's happening in your life and not kind of get into that that space of feeling hurt or feeling like the victim or feeling like everything's going wrong or it doesn't work out for you or whatever it is or if it's a person hurting you I feel like you know, that's like the surface of it, but spirit saying, get below the surface of it. Because this 37 gateway card is about you connecting with spirit, you trusting your intuition. And it's like looking beyond the veil of illusion to find out why something is actually going on. With this inner transformation card, that really confirms that. And I'm getting the message from spirit that one of the things that will really help you in June to get through this situation with your career is taking some time to yourself, sitting in the quiet. You could meditate if that resonates for you. You could go for a walk in nature where it's nice and peaceful. Let Mother Earth cleanse and balance and de-stress your energy. Or you could just sit, you know, sit and be still and allow your feelings to come to the surface really, really tune into how you're feeling, what you're being affected by, what's triggering you. And I feel that in doing so, in taking that time out for you, in sitting still and in listening to yourself, that your spirit family will be able to get through to you a lot easier to help you to work through this situation. I feel that here with the padlock card, this is about you discovering the truth and the answers about what's going on for you so that you can actually shift this energy out. Because if you look here, we've got the rebirth card. These are the influences coming in. So at the moment with this annoying, awful energy, this situation that's going on for you with work, as long as you can take time out 
uh, give, give yourself some space so that your spirit guides can find some quiet time, some space in your mind to channel in some information that will help you to see this situation more clearly. And that understanding and realisation will then help you to figure out this situation and what to do, what changes you can make, how to react, what to say, whatever it is that relates to your circumstances and so that you can move forward and move better still move away from this situation because I feel like um this is this is coming in whatever this challenge is in, in relation to you it's because of something to do with your past you're carrying something in your energy that still needs healing that needs attention that needs love sending to it or that needs accepting and until you notice what that is about yourself you're going to have this situation like always coming back and in your face and saying because it's trying to get your attention it's saying look this is what needs attention okay so spirit is saying to you group two during june you're going to get that opportunity to have this quiet time to figure this out so that you can change the energy of this situation and move through it and let it go because these cards that are coming in here you've got this wonderful rebirth energy with the 16 lighter this lighter card is realization understanding seeing things clearly and with this lovely new energy I feel like this is like once you kind of open yourself up, you sit in the quiet and you allow yourself to receive, receive insight, this will then make it easier for you to clear out this old energy, understand it and make space for something new to come into your life, okay? And that's the energy that wants to come in. And this is going to bring you to this point of needing to make decisions about what to do. So I feel like June is going to be really important for you. That's the energy that I'm picking up for your group too, where you need to decide what you're going to do about this difficult situation and I feel that this one of the strongest messages I'm getting here for you is to connect with yourself and with spirit to get the answers because if you carry on as you are doing or you know if you aren't making any headway in this situation it is going to keep coming back so spirit saying you can work through this you can let go of it and you can move on but it's up to you to actually make that time for yourself to do that okay but there is a lot of light coming in for you in June so that light is going to help you to see things more clearly and to understand what you need to do okay let's have a look at the finances for you group two 30 transformation, look at that, two blue cards, 34 sanctuary, 39 blessings, jack of spades, changeable and curious, queen of diamonds, peaceful and spiritual, oh, wrong one, that belongs there, two of diamonds balance, 19 green light, 29 knot, we need more space, more space, one compass, okay, you've got 11s and 1s showing up in this and two 3s, those are both 11, those are both 1, those are both 3. And 11 adds up to 2, so essentially you've got 1, 2 and 3. So you've got some new energy coming in in relation to your finances. That's really good, right? This blue energy, this relates to communication. There might be something that you need to communicate in relation to your finances. So take that if it resonates for you. Blue is also a colour of receiving and being receptive. So that would also indicate that something is coming in financially for you. There might be a really good um, influence or some money itself let's have a look we have got 34th century queen of diamonds 29 the knot so those are the cards that relate to the challenges in for your money and this sanctuary card is making me think that you have got some kind of negative belief system that was planted in you from the past from most likely from your upbringing but for some of you, it might have been a little bit older than that, maybe late teens or 20s, where you might have had a difficult time financially. I'm getting that for a few of you. Um, but for all of you, I feel like you've got a very negative belief running in your subconscious around money that is causing you to feel anxious that you aren't going to have enough or that you're not going to receive enough. OK, so that's challenging you at the moment. And I feel that this could be giving some of you anxiety or causing 
causing like negative thoughts to come up. It might be making you feel quite out of balance and it's like you're getting caught up in the drama and fear energy of all of that. And that's not helping you. That's not helping you to create what you actually want. And spirit wants you to be aware of that group too. But if we look at these cards here, this is what spirit's saying that you need to focus on, okay? You've got some very positive energies there that relate to change and moving ahead. So if some of you have got some new ideas that you want to um, bring in, especially in relation to work or things that could make money for you. For some of you that could even be selling things from home, clearing things out and getting rid of them, you know, I feel that, um, this transformation energy here is about, I'm getting the message that this is to do with you receiving, okay? This is a very strong message coming through. So this is all about self-worth and deserving and what you des what you think that you are deserving to receive in relation to money. This is going to come into the limelight for you in June group two, okay? And Spirit's saying it is time for you to turn this around. This is a month that could you, where you could make a lot of difference and a lot of headway with this negative belief this uh, ja dragonfly card here with the jack of spades the dragonflies can relate to illusions where we start to see through the illusions and break through the illusions because the dragonflies also represent change okay so you've got change and transformation and the go ahead these are the energies that you need to focus on this is what you need to take action for is actually changing your situation so you might get some opportunities come in group two during june um, that could bring you some money in in some way or at least increase your finances for a little while but I am getting this biggest message for you group two to really examine your thoughts and beliefs around what you think you're worth because for some of you I'm now getting the message from spirit that you are not charging enough okay you're not charging enough because you're not believing in yourself enough and you don't think you're worth enough but you are spirit is saying you are and this is something that you can look at during june because these cards here are so lovely and this is the energy that is coming in for you in june and you've got the blessings card that's like one of the best cards to get for that in this position for the reading of finances okay this lovely balance card is saying that if things have been tight for a while if you've been if you do start taking action to um, make some changes to change how you think and see money how you feel about it or even to get rid of some things to sell them or to earn some more money some way somehow these are lovely cards confirming that positive turnaround for you because you've got balance here so this is saying that the money that goes out and comes in is going to be balanced during june okay there's going to be enough coming in to pay what's going out this blessing suggests that you could have a lucky surprise with some money or receive something unexpected especially maybe you know if you're selling some things you could get a little bit extra I'm seeing that with the blessings card but I'm also getting the message about you being a lot more grateful because that will really help to open the door to abundance for your group too you know if you are show a lot of gratitude towards what you already have we often get take things for granted don't we and get quite complacent about the things that we have so take stock of everything that you've got and show a lot of gratitude and that will help to increase what you have okay and this compass card here this is brilliant whatever changes you're planning on making during june in relation to money and earning more or receiving more and how you see money and how you see yourself this is moving you in the right direction towards more abundance so that is a really positive sign for you group two okay so let's get the cards for love sorry if you hear the background noise do you know what i always seem to do the readings when they're coming to empty the bins and it's on a different day this week as well so that should go in a minute we've got four stability that came out in the last reading didn't it i think i mentioned that 24 healing 14 experience we've got four five and six look at that we've got the four of clubs building now look at that two houses <laughs> queen of spades determined and resilient oops move these down a bit We've got the Ten of Spades, Breakthrough, Six Post Box, 28 the Clock, and 36 Learner Driver. Okay. Let's get those all in to be across a little bit more, don't they? I'm faffing now, faffing with the cards. We want them all in though, don't we? Okay, let's have a look here. 
Okay, then group two, with regards to love, so this isn't just romantic love, this is people that you love, okay? So your love connections, friends, family, and lovers. So we have got these cards here relating to what's challenging you during June. There is um, a, a relationship from your past, I, I am picking this up from your past quite strongly, that you haven't yet healed. And I feel that it's still affecting you in the present, okay? I feel that it was... I think for many of you, this was quite a long-standing relationship. For some of you, this would have felt like a lot of hard work where it might have been made you feel quite emotional. It, I'm also picking up for some of you that this was a past life connection, even for some of you, a soulmate connection, you know, but I feel that for a lot of you, this person is no longer in your life, but you're still carrying around the pain of their energy that or their energy and the pain of the relationship, how it hurt you. And it's kind of affecting you in the present where it's making you feel a little bit unsafe or finding it hard to be vulnerable, to be intimate or to trust people in general. And spirit is wanting to draw your attention to that for June, okay, so that you can allow yourself to receive some healing for that so that it isn't weighing you down because I feel like you're carrying it quite, um, it's like it's quite heavy in your energy and it is bringing you down and it's stopping you from getting the kind of love and connections that you truly, truly want. With these cards here, these are what you need to focus on in relation to your, your connections in June group two. So now you've got two houses have shown up. So this is to do with people that you either live with or your family or people that you see as your family with the post box card here. I feel like, um, I'm getting a few messages here. So for some of you, what you need to focus on is balanced relationships. In June, I think there are more than one or more people that you are giving too much foot to and you're not receiving enough in return. It's not that we should expect to receive, but it, what I'm referring to here is the the balance of the connection being out of balance, you know, like the give and receive is not balanced. Somebody in your life is taking a lot and you're giving a lot. So spirit wants to draw your attention to that so you can bring that into balance. You've also got two falls, which is again, this is about balance. And I'm also, you know, with the stability card with this house on top of the roots, again, that's about needing to find balance. So I feel that there could be at least one person in your life in June group two that you need to, you know, you need to have a look at these connections that you know people that try to throw you off your balance off your off your pedestal off your <laughs> maybe this do you know that's weird that I said that word actually I'm getting the feeling for some of you that there is someone in your life that you put on a pedestal but they do not treat you in the same way and I think this person is not treating you fairly and your relationship is not balanced and that, and that when you're connecting with them either seeing them or speaking to them it throws you off you know and I feel that this person does try to drag you down maybe not into I'm not don't mean intentionally I don't think they're intentionally doing this I think this is just their energy or it's something to do with the history that you two have, you know, where maybe once upon a time the relationship was really good. Because I am getting this sense that this could go back quite a way for some of you, this relationship, where things are changing now. And it feels like the connection is not in balance anymore. And Spirit wants you to have a look at that. So really pay close attention to your relationships that, you know, when you come away from them and, you, and you're thinking, Phew don't know what to do about this it's not feeling good anymore you're not really in alignment anymore you're feeling a little bit heavy maybe they try to put their problems onto you and it's making you feel a little bit anxious um, but I feel like this could even connect in with what I've spoken about here with this connection from the past you know I think that you've got some stuff that still needs healing from the past which is why this person or people are still in your life and why it's not feeling the best but I'm also picking up other messages here that you've also got one or more other connections in your life that are good, that are balanced and spirit is saying to focus on putting energy into those because those are the people that are giving back to you in return, you know, equally, you are both supporting each other and that's the kind of relationship that you deserve, group two, okay? So I feel that for some of you, there could be some kind of a change in June in one of your relationships at least and where it might feel 
feel a little bit of a sudden change or it might throw you off balance, it will ultimate be, ultimately be for your best. These cards here relate to the energy coming in. We've got this breakthrough card. So whatever you've been going through that needs healing or that needs changing or that needs balancing in relation to your connections, this is you getting through that. This is you feeling a lot better. And with this experience card, this is you. I'm getting a sense of you freeing yourself a little bit, washing away. You know where I've spoken about here? Look, we've got the two water elements here. So where something has been hurting you from the past so far, I do feel like you're going to get some healing and you're going to make some headway with that. And I feel like there is going to be at least one really lovely connection that of, with someone in June that you're going to be either be spending time with. So it could be a love connection, love and romance, or it could be friend or family or it could be someone that you're in touch with online or something like that where you are going to have some really positive moments and like true appreciation for each other. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like um, there's a very positive energy coming in where you could have some kind of a breakthrough with like maybe repeated patterns in your relationships where you understand what it is that you're doing that has been attracting the wrong sort of person or how people treat you and it's no good for you. So I feel like you could get some real understanding and self-awareness during June for that OK group, group two. So I really hope that reading has helped you. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you again. Hello, group three. Thank you for joining me in the reading. I hope you are doing really well today. So we are looking at pre predictions for June with career, finances and love. So while I'm getting the cards ready for you, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I want to let you know that I've just started a new channel called Guided Meditations where I am releasing, guess what, Guided Meditations. So there'll be a link below for that. I've also got a Patreon community for animal lovers where I help people to understand their animals' needs better so that they can build a deeper relationship with their animal and I have got a channel for cat videos as well where you will see my cats and Lily's kittens oh too many cards there they all wanted to come out didn't they and I've got my website where I do readings energy work courses oracle cards and I write a blog so check the description box below for all of those links. I'm also doing, I'm getting on with finally, my project um, for animal communication with the mediumship readings where I'm chatting to the animals about all kinds of things. Now, if you're a regular listener to my channel, thank you for joining me. Welcome back and thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate you. Okay, I think we want one more of these. That wants to come out. One more card. There we go. Okay. Sorry if you could hear noise in the background. I've just closed the window because it was getting rather loud. So it's the, they're just coming for the rubbish today. Okay, let's have a look at these cards. We've got six strength. That came out in, I think, the first reading. Seven release. 39 blessings, that also came out in the first reading, 4 of hearts, 5 of spades, 9 of hearts, 36 learner driver, 24 banana and 10 new door, okay, so these are the cards relating to, we that everything in, your career, let's have a look. So group three, there is some kind of big change going on with your career at the moment, isn't it? Where you are trying to end something and bring something new in. I can see that really clearly. Look, we've got new door, emotional release, number seven release. These are all to do with like ending and beginning energies here. So I feel like that's going on for you at the moment. And this is going to continue through June. With these cards here, they relate to what you're struggling with at the moment. You know what's challenging you, but what you can work through um, during June. And I notice here we've got five, six and seven. So this is giving the impression that you are trying to make head headway with something you're trying to move forward with something but things haven't been going as you quite expected and you've maybe been delayed or stopped or blocked or something you know something as life has thrown something at you to throw, put a spanner in the works and so you haven't been able to move forward in the way that you really wanted to but it's simply because you've been needing to let go of something that's been in your energy for a while 
um, especially to do with maybe a belief about how you are perceived by others or what you think you're worth, that kind of thing. It might be some fear, you know, because this banana card here is all to do with fear and drama and what we get caught up in. So it could be to do with a negative thought pattern or a negative belief that hasn't been helping you and that has been stopping you from moving forward. So during June, that is going to come up for you to clear, for you to make some progress with. So yay. But do you know what? With this five of spades originality card here, this is about you really needing to be yourself and do your own thing. I think if you've been wanting to move ahead with something, it hasn't been going ahead because you're not really fully tuned into what's authentic for you. I think that you've been not like, I'm, I'm not kind of I don't think this is, I'm not seeing this as a big negative energy here, but I think, you know, the power of suggestion in this reality is so strong. It can be hard sometimes to go against it. And I think for you, group three, you have been really searching for what is you, what is original to you, what is unique for you. But I think this energy of suggestion in this reality keeps kind of trying to sway you down this track of things that other people do and you're fighting against it. You're trying so hard to be original, but I think you've been struggling with it because of all the programming. Some of this programming will definitely come from when you've been younger. You know, it's the programming put on us from society, our upbringing, from schools, all of it. It really makes us hard to be different. It turns us into these soldiers and slaves where we're all like everybody else and everybody does the same things. But for you, group three, I think that you are really trying to break out of this. And I think you've been struggling to find your authentic thing, but that is going to come up in June for some real clearing for you. Okay. Because here, these are the cards for the energies that you, what you need to focus on, what you need to take action on. Okay. This strength card here is a reminder from spirit to say you're not alone in what you're doing you're getting a lot of help from your spirit family with this okay and it does go back through the generations because I feel that for you group one you are probably the black sheep of the family where you're doing something different or you want to do something different you want to break out of the mold in relation to your career and work and that has proved hard for you because you are clearing family karma generational karma ancestral karma you know you are breaking the mold you're breaking the patterns and that's why it's been so hard for you but don't give up because you are making really good headway this four of hearts emotional control is really um telling you for June to focus on staying calm and balanced and anything that comes up from the past that tries to worry you or bring you back into its fear or drama or any of that, any of that old stuff, don't let it. Spirit saying, stay calm, stay centered, stay grounded, really ground yourself and focus on what you know that is true right now in the present moment. Focus on, on what you know about yourself, that you are special that you are unique, that you are very gifted and that you have got something amazing to bring into this reality, okay? Spirit is just saying to remember to use your wisdom, to use what you already know, what you, all this experience that you've been having throughout your life so far has given you valuable wisdom and understanding and knowledge that you need to use and that's what will help you to move forward, not just in breaking out of this mold but in what you want to do moving forward with work. OK, so focus on using your skills and abilities and experience, your unique set of skills and abilities and experience. That is what will make you stand out. OK, these energies here are what's coming in in June and they are lovely for you, group three. You've got this wonderful blessings card with the door and the emotional release. So this is you letting go of this that you've been struggling with here. This is what you've been working through and it's been hard and it's been an uphill battle. This is you coming into June and these energies are starting to move out for you and things are going to start feeling a lot better. There could even be some new opportunities and some, some things that happen that feel like good luck, like synchronicity, like 
the spirit is just shining a light down on you. I call them, um, what's that term? God wink, a God wink. There are so many, kismet, that's another name for it, isn't it? There are so many names for those things, you know, when it's like a special moment that happens and you just think, wow, thank you, spirit. You know, so look out for those opportunities. But I feel that you've got some lovely energy coming in as this old energy moves out and this new door, this could be new project, new job for some of you, new situations, new ideas, new inspiration. This is something definitely that's new that is coming in for June for you. And it's going to make you feel like you are blessed because you've got this lovely blessings card. And that's coming in because you will have made space for it by letting go of some stuff about yourself that you no longer need because it, you know that it's no longer true. Okay, so let's move on to the finances reading we have got oh lovely 21 joy 40 signs 35 protection there is a lot of blue energy there isn't there group three we've got four of clubs building six of spades create king of clubs brave and assertive 21 coins 34 orange peel 22 padlock interesting cards okay there is a lot of blue i'm being very very drawn to the blue energy you've also got 221s very very positive energies there okay let's have a look so group three um in relation to these cards here what you've been struggling with uh, and what's what's going to be clearing for you in june we've got this creativity card here what this is making me think of some of you have got a creative block if you're a creative soul you've actually got a creative block which is in the sacral chakra and that is actually affecting what you receive because this is to do with receiving the creative energy that's what gives us life force it gives us abundance it gives us everything in in life that we need that creative energy so I feel that for you group three you've had a blockage there that relates to something from the past something to do with past beliefs about money I feel that um the message that I'm getting from spirit is about not focusing on the material aspects of life but focusing on what um like the deeper aspects of, of life where like so let me see if I can put this into words bear with me a moment yeah, so Spirit's saying what's what's challenging you is fo is that needing to focus on what really really matters I feel like money might have challenged you um there might be some negative beliefs that have challenged you for a while and I feel that what really need what will really help you in June group three is to focus on the good that you can do if you have what you receive because there is some kind of a block there that is making it do you know I'm really getting this energy of confusion and doubt really really strongly like there's something that you don't know what to do about in connection with money it could even relate to your career as well I'm sure that the two are probably connected for you for at least some of you anyway where um, you're, I feel like you're not seeing the energy of money in the right way. You know, it's like, are you seeing money as being the root of all evil or something that you never seem to have enough of or something that always causes problems? Really have a look at the relationship that you've got with money and see it as an energy it's because money comes to you depending on the energy that you are emitting. And I feel that this is very relevant for you, group three, especially to do with your sacral chakra. I feel like there is some kind of emotional uh, blockage there that has come from the past as a creative blockage for some of you. But this is a blockage to do with receiving where um, you maybe feel that the universe is not giving you what you need, but this is in relation to, it's kind of a reaction to your own energy. That feels like, bear with me, I'm struggling to get to the bottom of this. And I, do you know what? I feel like this is how you're feeling, group three. I think there is some kind of a blockage there with money that you have not been able to work through and you've been finding it hard to get to the bottom of. And as I said already, I think you could be quite unsure or 
just not able to figure something out. And I think it might have even been frustrating a few of you. And I think spirit has been trying to help you with this, to show you the signs, the things that you need to look at, but you might have just dismissed them or missed them all together, you know? So I'm going to have a look at these cards and see what other energy comes in because I'm, I'm sensing your frustration group three and the difficulty that you've had with clearing this energy because I do feel like you've been doing quite a lot of work on yourself already in relation to receiving an abundance and especially to do with money but something has been stuck and it's not shifting so let's have a look at these. So these are the cards where you need to, this is like what you need to focus on doing or you know taking action on something. So here spirit is saying like focus on yeah it is isn't it there is some kind of negative association that you have got with money group three whether you're aware of it or not whether you want to admit it to yourself or not there is a negative association there that has been there quite a long time and it feels like a lump of cement in your energy that you've been chipping away at and you can't get rid of it so spirit is saying what will help you is to focus on changing how you see money, see it as a really good thing, look at it as a frequency and put lots and lots of good feelings into it. It's not the root of all evil. It is a really good thing because money, having money will actually help you to help other people. And if you can focus on that, see if you can shift your thinking on how you see money, because that's what will really, really help you in June. Okay. Spirit saying, focus on the blessings that could come into your life if you had lots of money. Maybe some of you have got some kind of a block where you don't think the it could be to do with like a spiritual block where you think well I shouldn't need a lot of money if, you know if you're leading a spiritual life then money shouldn't come into it and maybe you feel guilty if you want to chase after the material can, side of life but do you know what group three you can have both you can have a spiritual life you can have a material life and it's about bringing them together and seeing the good that the money can actually help you to do with your life purpose and how you can help people so this is very much about you really having a look at how you perceive money and to make sure that you can start seeing it more positively for you. I feel like here this building card is about building like a much stronger foundation, a much stronger connection with money because there is something very negative inside of you that really needs to leave, okay? With these cards here, this is about the influence that's coming in in relation to your finances. So here we've got the padlock card, which is about focusing on what you can do, what experience you have, what skills you've got. I'm getting the sense that some of you might be wanting to expand your skills or learn more. Look at the um, knowledge that you've already got, the experience you've had, what you can do, what makes you unique. And I'm not seeing any changes here in relation to money or work initially. Um, Relating to any of that, I feel like this is all connected because I spoke about in your career, Ina, didn't I, with a new energy coming in. And I think that as that new energy comes into your career with however that relates to you, that is then going to have ripple out and have an effect on your finances. But I don't see it happening in June just yet. I feel like June is a month for you to get your finances in order in the way that you perceive money and what you receive. Like this king of clubs energy here, this is about you really getting on top of things and not letting money worry you, not letting it throw you off balance. If you've got some fears and anxieties relating to money, it's time to face those and to show your fear who's boss that's the lion energy there and to let your fear know that it does not control you and you are not afraid of it and you that you are not afraid of money I think some of you might actually have fear relating to money you know where you fear that you're not going to have enough this protection card here this is spirit just coming in saying you are protected you are safe please do not worry you will always get what you need even if it doesn't come in in the way that you want it to you are always going to get what you need but also what well, I am getting this message now that some of you are actually making plans and putting down roots and building a strong foundation now in your career and money section sections sectors where you are going to have a very 
um, create a very positive influence in the future, in the coming months, where things are going to turn around for you because they're going to be a lot more stable, okay? And I feel like June is a month where you can make a lot of difference and actually shift out this negative belief that you've got in relation to money, right? So let's have a look now at your love reading. See what we've got. 29 perspective, you've got a lot of blue cards, group three. Blue energy of communication, but also being receptive, receiving, being receptive. You've got 34 sanctuary, 24 healing. Uh, Ace of diamonds, eight of diamonds, eight of, of hearts, two eights there. Very strong karmic energy coming in. You've got 25 registration plate, 23 radio. 35 plaster. So you've got some very strong cards in all of the readings that relate to signs and synchronicities, getting messages from spirit. So I feel that that is really important for this group. You've also got a strong number eight energy here. We've got eight eight and eight. Eight is a number of inner power. So I feel for this group, for June, this is really going to be about you gaining your inner power, about you stepping up, taking your power back from people, situations, events that have taken your power from you. Okay. So with regards to your love reading, this could be a love connection, but it could also relate to friends, family, and other people that you love in your life. Okay. These cards here are relating to some kind of karmic situation that you have not fully worked through yet. There's some kind of energy from the past. I'm getting, I feel that they're actually, do you know what? There's somebody in your life at the moment that's coming in in June. It might be somebody that you haven't seen for a while, but it could be somebody that is present at the moment. And I feel like this person is going to try to suck you into their chaotic energy, their drama, their fear, their insecurities, their whirlwind of chaos. You know, I feel like someone is going to try to challenge you with that. This is somebody that you've got a soul contract with group three. So be aware of that happening. Be aware not to engage age, stay calm, take a step back, lay down your boundaries, do whatever you need to do with this strong blue energy that's come out. This is all to do with communication. So it may be that you need to speak your truth to somebody in June. Okay. Here we've got the radio, which is about hearing. So this might be somebody that talks a lot that you don't want to listen to. It might be somebody that talks over you. They might say things to you that you don't want to hear, but it might be time for you to speak to some to them about something. Okay. So I'm getting that as the challenge in June. But here we've got some lovely energies that of what you need to focus on, what you need to take action on. And Spirit is saying, remember to focus on the positive and to making positive change with this awakening card here. I feel like you might have some kind of a wake up call in relation to this person. Whatever type of connection this is for you, there is something that you're going to see clearly about this person in June. It's like you're going to understand them much more clearly. And I feel like you're going to know what to do. I'm also getting the message that you're going to know what to do that's right for you rather than trying to please the other person and do what's right for them. I can feel you stepping into your power and not being afraid and you making the like laying down the boundaries that you need to lay down with this person and with this registration card here. I'm getting this message of look out for number ones, number ones being quite relevant and number eights in this reading. So number one is about you needing to be more independent and you might want to spend some time on your own with this card here. Some of you might even choose to go to the coast, have some, you know, some nature time or go onto the beach, be near the water to help to clear your energy. But, and I feel that this will really help you to see things more clearly with whatever this situation is or this person is in your life and spirit is just saying pay attention to how people behave to what they say and what they do versus what their energy is telling you I feel that that could be quite useful for you in June group three and this energy that's coming in here this is a lovely healing energy so whatever 
this traumatic relationship or person is or if there's more than one person as well as this is you standing in your power and getting some healing from this situation if this person is no longer present this is you getting some healing for this past connection where spirit is saying as you focus more on positive being positive and bringing more positive people into your life in June this is going to help you to heal and to stand in your power and to be clearer about the type of person that you want I'm not seeing anyone new come in into your life in June group three but I am seeing you having like at least one wake up call that will help you to see things more clearly you've got this plaster card here in the healing this is about you engaging in lots of self-care receiving healing doing what's right for you putting your needs first where you might not have done that before with certain people this is you maybe taking some time out I have got um, on my new channel the guided meditations one there is a cleansing your energy and a moving into your heart center energies meditations there's two of them so far um, that could really help you during June because if you look at these energies that's what we've got here this is about you needing to cleanse and to heal and to do what is right for you okay group three so I really hope those readings have helped you thank you so much for listening Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again.